For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Pennsylvania seek recognition? I asked to address the House for one minute and extend, revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, I held an in-person town hall to hear how inflation impacts our community. Too many Pennsylvanians are making tough choices to put food on the table, gas in their tanks, or other budgetary choices. So today I rise to discuss why confronting Putin abroad helps address inflation issues here at home. It's no secret that we live in a global market. We became acutely aware of that fact during the pandemic. Ukraine and Russia provide us and the world grain, oil and gas, and even things like fertilizer. And when we are at war in these areas, or people are at war in these areas, this impacts our uh, economy colossally. We are again seeing how connected we are, this time not from a global disease, but rather from a diseased man. Vladimir Putin is infected, and he's inflicting untold horrors on the people of the Ukraine, and simultaneously destabilizing our world economy and order. To fully address these rising costs and inflation, in part caused by this Russian war, our top priority has to be bringing a just, durable, and lasting peace to this conflict in Ukraine. The longer the war rages on, the longer it will take for our economy to recover. That's why we must impose strong sanctions against Russia, coordinated with our allies. We must expedite weaponry to Ukraine, and we must return our pre-pandemic to pre-pandemic domestic oil production levels to meet our domestic needs and to help bring down global market costs. For the people of the 6th Congressional District of Pennsylvania, I promise to keep doing everything in my power to make sure we can alleviate pressures that are felt home uh, uh, abroad. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time.